So to display the data, we need few things. We need a text view to display the details of the node. And we also need to add a custom toolbar here so that we will be able to display the node in the toolbar itself, not here in the body of this activity. So, but luckily, when we create this content node details activity and we selected the basic activity, right? So it comes with the its own default toolbar. So we don't need to create that by manually. So I'm going to go to the activity node details dot XML file here. It has created two file here. So one is content node details dot XML and one is activity node details dot XML. So the toolbar is present in the activity node details dot XML file here inside this app bar layout. So inside this toolbar, I want to add one text view to display the node title. Okay. So I'm going to go to the design here and drag and drop one text view to this. Go back here and copy this from here to inside the toolbar. Now it will be displayed inside this toolbar here. Okay. So I want to change the properties of this toolbar. Uh, this text inside this toolbar. I want to make it bold like that as well as I want to change the color um, to the white okay and uh, change the font size to maybe 16 XP is fine okay and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the title a note uh, I'm gonna give the ID to this text view that is note details title and uh, let me go and change manually from here instead of changing from there note details title right and now inside this activity i want to have one text view which will display the content of note so drag and drop one text view and actually we need to do that from the content node details xml here so let me drag and drop this and fix the constraint to fill the parent here okay like that and uh, match the constraint and i want to give the padding of 16 dp for this text view right so we'll change the other properties as we go along with the uh, application but for now let me give the id for this so that we'll use it we will be able to use this in the java file so note details content Okay, so this is the ID for this text view and this test text view have the ability to scroll because if we have the content that is overflowing from this activity, then we should be able to scroll up and down so that we can read all the content of the text view. Okay, so to do that, I need to set the movement here. Okay, so it's going to contain the scroll bar. So I'm going to give the type of scroll bar we want. So we have these three. Uh, choices non horizontal or vertical so let's make this vertical and i'm going to give one more properties for each scroll bar container and it's going to be true now in the node details i'm going to create the variable for this text view we have uh, title and the content and i'm going to set the movement method on this node details content so that we can uh, scroll the text view so let's go back here and uh, just after this uh, dis set display at home up as enabled I'm gonna create the text view okay and the text view name is content our variable name is content and I'm gonna find the ID and the ID is note content note details content now in this variable I'm gonna set the movement method so set movement method and here we need to create new scroll movement method okay so it will enable the scrolling on that text view so that we can scroll through the all the text we have in the note. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, I'm going to get the text view for the title as well. So text view title find viva ID added ID note detail title not content. Okay. So now uh, i'm gonna go back to adapter here since we have this variable uh, ready now so now from this set on click listener i am gonna pass the data from the uh, main activity to the node details activity 
So data that I want to pass is node title and the node content. So let me pass that data. And uh, I can pass the data using put extra method here. So put extra method of intent, I can pass the data. So first thing I need to do is the identifier for the data that I want to pass. So this is a key. So we need to pass the key value pairs here. So this is title. And I'm going to get the title from the title list that we have dot get and the position like that. And similarly, I want to pass the content. So ID is content and the I want to pass the data through content array list get and the on that particular position. So what happens here is whenever somebody click on the first item in the recycle view or first item of the recycle view, it's going to get the position as zero and we are going to we are extracting the data from the titles on the zeroth position and content from the zeroth position and we are passing that to the node details so that we'll get the correct title and the correct description in the node details okay so now we have passed this data i'm going to go back to node details that java file and here i'm going to get the data that is passed from the main activity so to get the data through the intent i need to use the get intent method so first i'm going to create a variable called for the intent class and uh, now i'll use get intent method okay it will it is going to get the intent that is passed through this class passed to this class and now i can get the data using this uh, data variable that i have created for the intent initially uh, here after this variable in initializations i'm going to set the content so set text using the set text method of text view and I'm going to get the data that is passed. So data that get string extra and here I need to pass the name or ID that I have given here in the adapter. So that is content. So I'm going to copy from here and paste it here. So it's going to extract the data that is passed through the main activity here and going to set that to the text view we have in the node details activity that is in this uh, text view. And similarly, we have this title. So copy this from here and uh, now here we have title variable or text view i'm going to use the set text same as above here and data i'm sorry uh, data dot get string extra and pass the key key value here okay so now uh, when i run this application it should display the data whenever i click on any of the item on note item on the recycler view so Okay, so I'm gonna run this application now and we will we will see what happens. Okay, let me open the application and it is running now. And if I click on any of this item here on the note, it's going to display the title in the toolbar and the note on the this activity body. And if I click on back, I can go back and I can open another. But uh, this text style is not correct. So I'm gonna change that. So let's go back to the note details here. And I wanna make this like 18 dp make this uh, no title li little bit bigger from the uh, layout so let me go back to the layout here activity in node details and uh, i'm going to change the size to probably 18 sp okay that is fine now if i uh, show you here it is so this note is having green background here and this is having the pink and this is having the gray but if i click on this it is not displaying the that color in the background here instead of that it is displaying the white background so let's change this color according to the color that is displayed here and that will be the last thing we'll we are going to do on this part so, and we'll continue other features in the next part okay so let's change the color so to change the color Whenever somebody click on adapter, I also want to pass the color that is assigned to this card view here. Okay. So whatever the uh, color that is assigned to this card view background, I want to pass that through this uh, intent here so that I can get that color and apply that same color to the node details. So to do that, I'm going to get this random color and set, save that in a variable. So just after this, I'm going to create one integer variable. and uh, that name variable name is code and i'm going to call this get random color and i, I want to pass the code here as well as after this i'm i'm going to put that code using the put extra and uh, 
name is code and I'm gonna pass the code variable so that I can get the data in the next activity okay so it's it is uh, saying that it is I need to make it final so let's make this final okay we can also make this primitive so we can convert that to integer that's not a problem so let's go to the node details here and get that color code and apply to this uh, text background for this content so we have this content text content here and I'm gonna change the background from the design for a default text view here so select that and go back to the background properties that we have here and I want to apply something like um, some default color so let's uh, apply this one okay or maybe other one let's go to the color and apply one of the note color that this is yellow color I really like this color here and uh, so now I'm gonna go back to the node details here and uh, set the color so just after this content dot set background color and here now we need integer number and that we have passed through the intent so data dot get integer extra okay sorry integer get int extra and here I need to pass the code uh, name that is code and we also need to give the default value so I'm gonna just give zero as a default value okay now if I run this application it should display the background color that is initially assigned to the recycle view item so let's run this and we'll see how it's going to look okay now I'm gonna click click on any of this uh, node here and we'll be redirected to the node details activity and here you can see it is displaying the color same color that we have here I click on this and it is displaying some color but you can notice that is not exactly the color that we have uh, assigned there so I'm gonna change that it is because uh, I have directly given the integer value here uh, in the set background color here so instead of that you know uh, we need to use get resource method so I'm gonna use get resource dot get color and I'm gonna get that uh, color code as well as I'm gonna pass the null value okay so now if I run this application we should be able to see the color that is passed through the adapter in our node details the application is running in the background now okay now if I click on any of this I, I will uh, see the color that we have passed through from here and if I click on this we'll see this so this text color is not that black so I'm gonna make that completely black from this node details here um, let's go to design and from here let's change the text color to complete black okay something like this so let's run this application and text size is still 14 so I want to make this 16 SP we should be able to see the changes here okay so we have these three nodes now if I click on any of this it's going to display the background color as well as this of uh, content which is much bigger now and if I click on this it's going to display that as well okay guys so this brings us to the end of this part in this part we started with the random color method where we selected the random color for the recycle view and we displayed that color in the node details as well so we created this node details activity and where we displayed the node de details of the node with the title and the content so from the next part we are going to start adding the new nodes and we'll also connect the firebase as well i hope to see you in the next part of this series and don't forget to like and subscribe and also give the feedback on the comment section so that I'll get to know how you guys are learning and how if you are understanding or not. So this will that will really boost up my motivation to make this kind of videos in the future. So also you can join our Facebook group, like our Facebook page and I will see you in the next video. For now, bye bye. Have a great day.